This is called the French Waltz. It's a, it's a tune that I learned from the playing of Virgil Anderson, who lived up near the Big South Fork. Um, I never met the man. I think he passed away before I was you know, old enough to drive up there and meet him. But uh, he was a fine banjo player, and he played a kind of unique style, an older style, where kind of up pick and, and do these brushes. So here's how it goes. <laughs> It's an African instrument, sort of at its most basic level. It's a, it's a mix of, um, I mean, it, of rhythm, kind of almost drum-like percussive qualities. At least when you play it in, in these older styles, sort of pre-bluegrass. Uh, claw hammer is a name that people use. Frailing is another name. Um, there's also like a whole range of two-finger picking that are pretty wild. Um, but when you play it in these older styles, you get this kind of percussive, melodic combination that's just hard to beat. And I think in the end, it's like a, it's an extremely, um, you know, it, it just has these deep roots in, in Africa. It's kind of cool because I, by doing something old and in a unique style that is you know, one of the many traditional styles of banjo playing in the South, I was able to, uh, to win an award, you know, and get some recognition. I won the National Old Time Banjo Championship for whatever that's worth, which it, it was worth a lot because I got a, a new banjo and a, a new Deering banjo, which is a pretty sweet, sweet thing to win, and a little bit of money, and the title of National Banjo Champion for 2007. You know, what does a national banjo championship mean? Because I can think of plenty of players out there who I, I would much rather listen to than myself.